The Wira 2023 Advent Calendar is finally here, and although the Christmas season may still be a ways out, I'm going to give you a first look at this thing today because these things sell out really fast. Last year, Christmas of 2022, was my first year getting a Wira Advent Calendar, and honestly, after seeing how awesome these things are, I knew immediately that these were going to be a tradition for me every year. Now the first thing that you'll probably notice when you get yourself one of these advent calendars is how big the advent calendar itself actually is. It's a really good size and these things are jam-packed with quality tools. Now the back of this packaging shows all the designs that Wira has had for their previous advent calendars and it also shows all the tools that they went ahead and included for this one. But rather than taking a look at that, we're going to go ahead and get this bad boy opened up because even though it's not December yet, it is Christmas time here on Mad Electrician and we're about to open ourselves some quality tools. The back of the advent calendar actually has this nice little built-in stand. So that way you can make this thing stand upright and put it on display somewhere in your house. And now, let's see what this advent calendar has in store. And behind door number one, we have part of an Allen wrench stand. Now you'll notice right away that the sizes on the stand are actually metric. And that is because unfortunately, at least as of right now, these advent calendars only come in metric, not imperial, like some of Wira's other products. On the second day of Christmas, we get a nice metric size number eight Allen wrench. This thing feels really nice, really premium, really quality, just like all of Weir's tools. Let's go ahead and slide this thing in the stand. For December 3rd, it looks like we get a nice Weira soft screwdriver case. We also get some Velcro and a little bit of literature about the case. On day number four, we have another Allen wrench, this time metric size number six. On the fifth day of Christmas, we have a couple of teeny tiny eighth inch flathead bits. These things look like they would be extremely easy to lose. So let's go ahead and put them in the case right away. And behind door number six, we have a very nice limited edition colored Weira screwdriver handle. This thing will accept your standard quarter inch bits and just like all of Weir's screwdrivers, this thing feels absolutely amazing in your hands. If you're enjoying this video so far, do me a favor and go ahead and smash the like button. For December 7th, we have our first double-sided quarter-inch bit for our Weira screwdriver. This has a big flathead and a little flathead. As soon as I slid this in the case, I actually realized that I put my bits in the wrong spots. So right now I'm correcting them and putting them where they're supposed to be. Now to be honest, when I opened up the eighth tool, I really had no idea what this thing was. I did pretty quickly realize that there was a magnet on it, and upon further examination, 
I did start to get an idea of what this thing was for. On the front of this thing, it shows a magnet, and on the top, a negative symbol, and back, a positive symbol. So I figured out that if I take an Allen wrench and slide it back and forth on the positive symbol, it will positively, magnetically charge my Allen wrench. And if I want to demagnetize it, I can slide it back and forth on the negative side. Next up, for day number nine, we have two small eighth inch Phillips bits. On the 10th day of Christmas, my true love gave to me a metric size number three Allen wrench. I was struggling here a little bit when I was trying to open up door number 11 and I couldn't really tell which tool I was supposed to pull out. But I finally got it all figured out and on the 11th day, we get a double-sided quarter-inch Phillips bit. The exact sizes of this bit are a Phillips number one and a Phillips number two. On day number 12, we get a couple more small eighth-inch bits. This time, both Torx bits. It's a little bit hard to tell in the video, but all of these small little eighth inch bits are different sizes. These ones are a T5 and a T6. Behind door number 13 lies a very exciting surprise, a limited edition colored Weira tweaker screwdriver. If you've never used Weira tweakers before, these things are my absolute favorite. And now we know what all of those small little eighth inch bits were for. On December 14th, we have a metric size number four Allen wrench. Behind door number 15, we have another double-sided quarter inch bit. One side having a T20 and the other side having a T25. 25, which are both Torx bits. December 16th has another Allen wrench in store for us. This time it's a metric size number five. At first, I had no idea what this was behind door number 17, but once I took out the instructions that come with it, I quickly realized that it's just another part of the Allen wrench stand. And the cool thing is you can make it stand upright or hang it on the wall so the Allen wrenches can hang down. Pretty cool. Pro tip, it's a lot easier to assemble the stand without the Allen wrenches already in it. On December 18th, we have another metric Allen wrench. This time it is size number 2.5. Now, door number 19 has this really interesting looking little plastic accessory. And after playing around with it a little bit, I realized that this thing is actually meant 
for the tweaker screwdriver. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I believe the point of this thing is to actually hold the small little screws that you are driving with this tweaker screwdriver. When you pull down on the little red plastic ring, it opens up the jaws and when you release, it tightens them, which will grip the screws. Behind door number 20, we have another double-sided quarter-inch Torx bit. One side having a T10 and the other side having a T15. On December 21st, the first day of winter, we have a massive metric size number 10 Allen wrench. And man, does this thing feel huge. On the 22nd, we get our last double-sided quarter-inch bit. This looks like a Phillips. It's technically a PZ1 and a PZ2. Now, when I was opening up door number 23, I actually didn't notice that there were two Allen wrenches in there. The one that I just took out is a metric size number two, and the one that I didn't see but eventually grabbed later on is a metric size number 1.5. And here in just a second, you'll see me put that in the Allen wrench holder, right here. And if you've ever done a Weira advent calendar before, you know that the last day, December 24th, is a Weira bottle opener. I absolutely love these things. It's really cool collecting all of the different limited edition colors, and there's no better way to crack open a nice cold beer. What a fantastic kit. I absolutely love what they put in their 2023 advent calendar, and I already can't wait to see what they're gonna have in store for us next year in 2024. And that's all the tools that are in the 2023 Weira Advent Calendar. Tons of fantastic tools and also very different than last year. And again, if you're planning on getting one of these, which I highly recommend because they're a ton of fun, you're gonna wanna do so soon because these things do sell out very quickly. So if you're interested in picking one of these up, I will have a link to purchase this in the description of this video. Thanks for hanging out and I hope that you enjoyed watching me open this thing as much as I did. If you enjoyed this, make sure to subscribe so you see more content like this from me, and I will see you in the next one.